In the previous lecture, we have seen how we can create a generic error handler. Now here are a couple of things. First, we can remove this next from here because we don't need it because we are doing it inside the error handler function that we created in the, le in the previous lecture. Now inside the login, uh, as you can see that we are still throwing these uh, generic errors. So we need to replace it with the custom errors. So for user does not exist, we will create a separate error which is 404 not found. So go into the exceptions and create a file which is not found.ts and inside this we will just copy this code I guess and we will change the name to not found and the status code for this code will be 404 not found and I guess everything is fine and inside the root.ts error code so we have user not found already there so we don't need to create one so just go into the login controller and instead of throw error we will say throw new not found exception and inside the message we will say user not found so and obviously we need error code as well so the error code will be error code dot uh, user not found so this will do the trick and inside incorrect password so it will be bad request exception so new bad request exception the message will be incorrect password and I guess we have the code here so inside the code we will say error code dot incorrect password so this is all let's give it a try then inside the login uh, let's hit send it's giving an error let's see if the development server is running or not it's running okay okay so it's working I guess the server was in the reload phase that's why it was giving an error and if we change the password let's say one two three four and hit send you can see that it's giving an incorrect password error so that's how it's being done now in the next lecture uh, we will see how auth middleware works